Welcome back to Fox and Friends, a story we've been talking about all morning long. War turned into a game. We've seen video games like this for years, but the new version of EA's Medal of Honor is set in modern-day Afghanistan and allows players to play as the Taliban against the U.S. with the objective of gunning down American troops. Karen Meredith is a gold star mom and writing about this, and she's speaking out. She joins us this morning. Karen, nice to see you. Good morning. So what is your problem with this game? How is this any different, as many would say, than kids playing cops and robbers? Somebody has to play the bad guy. Well, war is not a game, period. And the fact that they've already done uh, games about World War II, that's far removed from our current history. And people aren't dying um, it, in World War II anymore, that's far removed. The, the families, um, and, and it's not based on real people. Right now, we're going into a really, really bad time in Afghanistan. We've just come off of the worst month of casualties in the whole war, and um, this game is going to be released in October. So families who are burying their children are going to be seeing this um, and and playing this game. I just don't see that... Uh, a video game based on a current war is makes any sense at all. It's disrespectful. Well, it's disrespectful, perhaps, but EA has a response, and they say, Electronic Arts, the makers of the game, they say, Medal of Honor is set in today's war, putting players in the boots of today's soldiers. We give gamers the opportunity to play both sides. Most of us have been doing this since we were seven. If someone's the cop, someone's got to be the robber, as I just said, and someone's got to be the pirate, somebody's got to be the alien. In Medal of Honor, multiplayer, someone has to be the bad guy. Someone has to be the Taliban in this game. And remember that it's a multiplayer game, so you have certain people playing against other people around the world, and these games are incredibly popular. What do you say to Electronic art, uh, Arts' response? It's disappointing. They're a um, very big employer in the Bay Area in San Francisco where I am. And I just find this unrealistic to say that there's, that to compare cops and robbers to the Taliban and U.S. soldiers, that people can sit in their recliner and play this game, um, go grab a beer, come back and play again, and it's just not based on reality. But some would say, and I, you know, look at the research too, the average gamer age in this country is 35 years old. I think a lot of people think they're kids. In fact, the average game age of person buying this game is 39 years old. They're not kids. They're grown adults. Can't these adults make the decision of what types of entertainment they watch? Heck, they're watching pro wrestling too. Well, pro wrestling, nobody dies, hopefully. And to... to the, the video game industry, in 2004, Sony tried to release a game called Shock and Awe based on the outcry of the public. They didn't do it. it last year, Atomic Games tried to release a game, and um, these were all based on the current wars over in Afghanistan and Iraq. And yes, th they can choose it, and in fact, their argument generally is, if you don't want to play it, don't buy it. But my son didn't get to start over when he was killed. His life was over. Um, and I have to deal with that every day. There's 1,200 families from Afghanistan that have to deal with this every day. And we live it. It's, yeah. it's not a game. It well, is just not a game. And I don't think that they should be, um, be putting this reality. Um, they're very, EA is very cavalier about it. Well, it's just a game. But it isn't a game to the people who are suffering from the loss of their children or their loved ones. Well, we all certainly, uh, you know, our hearts go out to you and your family for your incredible loss and in, in service to this, to this great country. Um, you know, perhaps it's even uh, another segment, another time, to have a broader discussion about the way in which we entertain ourselves in this country because these games sell millions and millions of copies. So whether or not they come out and pull it off the shelves is another story. Karen Meredith, we appreciate you coming on and talking about this this morning. Thank you so much.